Hi everybody, Bill Black here at Spirit River. Let me show you how to tie a real quick, light, bright elk caddis. Extremely effective pattern, great attractor pattern. Uh, if you're looking to catch fish, you should have some of these in your arsenal. And I'm going to make this a real fast one. I won't explain a whole lot of it, but I sh I'm going to explain a lot of it, but not too much detail. I'm going to put on a base of thread. Okay, I'm going to take a little fine gold wire. I put my little crease in it so that I can fold it back on itself so it won't come out when I use it later. I go ahead and take Spirit River uh, Light Bright. You can use any color. I like earth tones. A black makes a really good one. This is a hare's ear. I go ahead and create a nice little body. Actually, I'm using too heavy a thread, but I'm going to wing it, see if I can make this look okay with the head. So, I've already selected a, a dry fly hackle. This is from White, Dr. Tom Whiting, Whiting Hackle. Don't let your girls or wives see this, so they're going to wrap their hair with it. So, I'm going to take one complete wrap, and then I'm going to head back towards the rear of the fly. Try to keep that spaced evenly. I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to bring it forward. And again, that just locks in all that hackle. When you catch fish, you can catch fish after fish and it won't break on you. Never cut your wire with the tip of your scissors. Always use the base. I'm going to go back in and cut that little tip of that hackle out. I don't mind cutting this hackle on the bottom. I kind of I prefer that. It helps uh, the fly lay in the surface better. I'm going to also just rough it up a little bit with a Velcro teaser. And that just adds a little bit more splash to it. The fly's almost done. I've gone ahead and stacked some elk hair. I'm going to lay that over the top. So that it comes right to the end of the hook. I'm going to measure that, clip it, go around, mm, I don't know, how much was that, 10 or 12 times? I'm going to just push it back just a little bit. Nice, clean little head there. And again, if you want to do a little half hitch underneath, you can. That makes it really nice and clean. Um, you can also pull all of that back or do a whip finish on it like that. I just want to show you a couple different techniques. All it needs is a little bit of cleaning here at the head. I like to leave that head a little bit bushy. It's got just a little bit of flash sticking out. Absolutely amazing fly. Put a dropper super glue right there on your thread and it's over with. Thanks for uh, supporting Spirit River. We're a small company based in Oregon. Please give us your comments. We'll keep making videos. Thanks.